The Moto Guzzi booth created quite a stir amongst motorcycle fans at the EICMA 2017, presenting their whole lineup of bikes. The full Guzzi spectrum, ikanga, from the big twin tourers down to the retro-friendly modern classic V7 bikes, accessorized and all souped up. Lahat naka display. But for me, the main appeal of Moto Guzzi comes from its deep and long Italian motorcycle heritage. Through the efforts of local Moto Guzzi distributor BikerBox sa Paranaque, kasama sina Paring Mike at Rafi, Ride PH had a rare opportunity of visiting the historic Moto Guzzi headquarters in the old Mandelo del Lario town in Italy to learn more about this true Italian motorcycle legend. Mandelo del Lario in Lecco, Lombardy is located within a small commune around the plush Lake Como area. Yup, Lake Como kung saan may bahay raw ang Hollywood actor na si George Clooney. Upon entering Mandelo del Lario, we were greeted by a rotonda or a roundabout adorned with an art center piece, a metal sculpture of what seems to be a Moto Guzzi motorcycle. Moto Art Tol. Short of announcing, you are about to enter the Moto Guzzi town. Mandelo del Lario is one of those uh, small uh, communes in Italy. Uh, since 1921, itong Moto Guzzi factory dito sa Mandelo del Lario ay uh, nag uh, gumagawa na ng motorsiklo. So ngayon bibisitahin natin siya. Sabi nila Jay sa Red Gate daw. Red Gate. May nakikita ba kay Red Gate? Sa Red Gate talaga. Hanapin natin. Red Gate, Red Gate. Red Gate. Ayun, ang Red Gate. This is this is the famous red gate, sabi nung uh, uh, contact person, T. Mike. 1921. Remnants of the World War era can be seen around the Motoguzzi property. Curiously enough, we saw a few small caves, for example, that can easily fit 10 to 15 maybe, which served as bomb shelters whenever there's an air raid. But most of the visitors here always ask for the red door. The historic red door is now a famed Moto Guzzi landmark. Let's go, Jay. All right, Moto Guzzi. For Marco. Marco. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. <laughs> Marco Cornaglia welcomed us to the Moto Guzzi factory. Marco is not a tour guide, but actually an employee. Okay, this is a big plant, uh, as you will see after with the photo in the museum. It was not so big okay. at the beginning. The Moto Guzzi Museum, where at least 150 exhibition pieces are housed, curated, and displayed. Quite an impressive array of every Moto Guzzi bikes made since it was established in 1921, including production motorcycles, sport bikes, prototypes, and experimental engines. Similar to the origin of a lot of motorcycle brands during the First World War, Moto Guzzi was conceived by three friends with aeronautic background, two aircraft pilots, and a mechanic. Founders Carlo Guzzi, Giovanni Ravelli, and Giorgio Parodi. The very first Moto Guzzi motorcycle enclosed in a huge glass box greeted us, prominently displayed at the museum's walkway. The GP started Moto Guzzi's Normale bike series. Walking further down what looks like Guzzi's Hall of Honor are motorcycles made by the Italian legend from the 20s through the 40s and 50s. From military-inspired bikes, utilities, race bikes down to scooters, each room is filled with rows of motorcycles left and right. At the end of the same room is a reconstruction of Carlo Guzzi's office. We walk further down the mile-long hallway and the collection progresses as it reaches the 70s, 80s, and the 90s era where I saw a familiar bike. There's a space devoted to that famous television show in the 80s, Chips. As a kid who grew up watching the canned American show on GMA7, I must have my picture taken with the Chips Moto Guzzi El Dorado. The last leg of the Moto Guzzi tour was a glimpse of the motorcycle assembly line for the new bikes. 
Engines are built within Italy. Parts for the bikes are locally sourced. Assembly of each part in the Mandelo del Lario plant. It is not as commercial in scale compared to other Italian brands producing for maybe about 15,000 units per year. But this is how they want it done. Before we left the factory, I asked Marco if I could go check out the first ever Guzzi bike again. This time, I focused on the details surrounding the bike. The patina from decades of existence, the worn-out tires, and the weathered leather saddle speaks volumes of rich motorcycle history. Every single detail evokes classic beauty and passion. The same passion that each and every Moto Guzzi employee share in building these Italian masterpieces.